Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. So, the other year I tested a mini comp on a Sig P365. Thank you, Leah. Um, and it had some effect. It was noticeable, but didn't seem terribly significant. Now, partly that's because it was less of a compensator than a muzzle brake. Um, don't want to get too far into the weeds here, but they're different. <laughs> um, and the other night I finished work and just thought, I have a new metal lathe and I have a half by 28 tap. And I have a lovely bar of 4140 stock that a uh, steel stock sent to me by Brad at JB Gunworks. These things came together as they inevitably would and produced my own version of a miniature compensator. This has a expansion chamber, single port located centrally at the top to redirect portion of the muzzle blast upwards to get the gun back on target just that much faster. And um, it's a pretty simple device. Now, I've been messing with compensators and compensated guns since at least the mid 80s, but I've never made one before. So I guess it was time. Anyway, let's see how it worked out at the range. So as you can see, it not only made a difference, a noticeable difference, it made a significant difference, I felt, in the performance of the pistol as far as keeping the shots nice and tight and uh, worked pretty well. So let's have a close look at this wee beastie on the tabletop. So this is a PSA Dagger II with a Swenson slide that I've assembled specifically for testing. And uh, it has the standard threaded barrel, uh, PSA's threaded barrel, I believe. Uh, the light is the subject of another video, so we'll get to that another time. Uh, but this is a test gun and I'm testing things. So the compensator has a 0 0.450 inch bore cut with one, 20, uh, one half inch 28 threads, and then a single central port on the top and then the muzzle closes down from 0 0.450 inches to 0 0.375. Um, traps more of the gases that way, but is not small enough, tight enough to be in any danger from the 0.355 inch bullet. And uh, I favor myself that it's actually fairly handsome. Now, the original version of this was slightly longer, the one you see in the test video. Um, it had a tendency to unscrew itself, which is fine. It's expected. I can always put in a set screw. But the problem was when I had tightened it down reasonably tight with pliers, um, and then I marked it and cut where the port goes, um, I missed something because, <laughs> because it started rotating to the left as I was shooting. And uh, the port needs to be facing up to make gas go that way. So having it rotate over to the side, not good. So I adjusted it until the port was nicely centered at the top with it tightened down just as tight as I could get it. And uh, this time I used a vise and <laughs> it is now not going anywhere, I dare say. Anyway, it's um, an interesting little device. It seemed to be effective and uh, there's really not much to it, but it's kind of neat. So I tested this gun with S&B 115 grain full metal case range ammo. And I also tested it with a full magazine of Underwood Extreme Penetrator ammunition using the Lehigh solid copper bullet. This was the 90 grain plus P, so it was considerably snappier. And yet, um, the groups didn't open up under rapid fire, even though I could hear a much more pronounced bark from the muzzle. So, as I said, it appears to work. I'm going to do further testing, try some different types of ammo, see what works best, 
and uh, let you know how that goes. But so far, it seems to be a genuine net positive in rapid fire controllability for this gun. And I'm pretty pleased with that. So, shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Your contributions help more than you know. In fact, you bought the ammo for this test. Thank you all very much. I also like to thank channel benefactors like Leah, who loaned me the original microcomp to test, and all the various individuals, businesses that have helped make this channel work with their generosity. Also, there's a link in the description below to AmmoSquared.com. This is an ammunition subscription service, and I and a number of other YouTubers use it to get ammo for tests like this, and I like it quite a bit. If you follow the link and decide it's for you and sign up, then I will get a small little bit of extra ammo in my account, which helps the channel. So, anyway, that's it for this time. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.